This is Elocution Plus on radio, volume three, the thirteenth episode. Let's call it the finale of this volume. I'm Michael Mafalumi, and Elocution Plus on radio is about speech and etiquette. That is speaking and behaving as a leader should. We will be focusing on, or we have been focusing on, words commonly confused, body language tips. Common speech sounds that are challenging for many. Words commonly confused. Humility. Sadly, I have heard it called humbleness. Please note there isn't such a term as humbleness, but humility. Similarly, instead of anxiety, I've actually heard, or we've actually heard, anxiousness. Please note such objectival terminology have a proper way to call them. So we say humility, not humbleness. We say. Anxiety, not anxiousness. Under the speech sounds challenging, we take the sound referred to as the anxious. Anxious. It looks like a letter N with a tail. You find it in such words as king, sing, think, link, drink, drink. The sound oddly well. Good to know that babies actually know how to make that sound well. You may hear them go ngang 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 ngang. That is them playing with the anxious sound. It is also poignant to note that through this volume, this volume three, we have taken the following sounds that we deemed or considered a tad of a challenge for many, and they are a, a, u, a, the f sound, a, a, r, r, o, r, r. The soft th sound, j, and of course this addition, n. If you really want to work on your sound production, your phonation, or your accent, not altogether change it, but you would want to be better equipped with, as we would like to say, it's better to have the skill and not need it than to need it but not have it. If you wish to know how to produce whatever sounds you were, whatever language, you do not have to speak English. To be able to speak any other language, you do not have to speak any other language to be able to speak all other languages. It is humanly possible to speak like a polyglot, like someone who understands all languages. Yes, it's a matter of appreciating accent, sound production, and such. You wish to do better, wish to do more. Do not hesitate to get across to us. Again, our numbers plus two three four eight zero five six zero three eight five nine one. You might. Get across to us for a one-on-one in-person training, or if your time is that restricted, limited, precious, we could put together programming that will suit you at your leisure, online or offline. Make that offline, online or offline. And of course, we will take the final reading from the introduction of Elizabeth Hunky's book, Body Language for Dummies. We will emphasize again the import of appreciating. Make that understanding body language. Your body language accounts for more than sixty percent of interpretation of what you say. Sadly, the average person focuses on what they say or even how. Very few focus on why. What you say refers to your choice of words, your diction. How you say it refers to the manipulation of sounds, inflecting and intoning. While your action, your body language, is about why you're saying what you're saying. We did recommend, and we still do. Look out for the series "Lie to Me," or look up some research by Merabian, Doctor Merabian. You will find such to be most informative, and you will find that what you have been taken for granted has probably been undermining your presentation all this while. That has been our presentation. Again, if you wish to get a copy of Elizabeth Conkey's book *Body Language for Dummies* two thousand and seven edition, published by John Wiley and Sons Limited, you could very well do so, or go online to www. dummies learning. com or dummies. com. You will find such information as is pertinent to your requirement. And if you wish to get a copy of our audio, of our trainings, video books, and such, please get across to us by plus two three four eight zero five six zero three eight five nine one. Michael Mafolomi.